Hello everyone, and welcome to my predictions for Saturday afternoon's game between the Rutgers Scarlet Knights and the Indiana Hoosiers. This game will be played at Memorial Stadium in Bloomingham, Indiana at 12 p.m., and Indiana is opening up as a 28-point favorite. Now, Rutgers won their first game against UMass, but have lost their last four to Iowa, Boston College, Michigan, and last week to Maryland, 48-7. Indiana right now is 3-2 with wins against Ball State, Eastern Illinois and UConn with two losses, Ohio State and last week to Michigan State, 40-31. to Now, one thing that has been major contributor to Rutgers' latest losses has been their redshirt new head coach. Now, this week, they will have none of their starting QB normally, Art Zakowski, none of their leading receiver and second leading rusher, Raheem Blackshear, and their backup quarterback, McLean Carter, is medically retiring so they will be starting again third-string quarterback Johnny Langan. And besides that, I do not know of any other red shirts that will not be playing in this game to red shirt. And, but still, that should make a big difference in not having your top two quarterbacks and your second-leading rusher and top receiver. Now let's get into the stats. Rutgers passing offense is 105th in the country with 194 yards per game. Indiana is 21st in the country in passing offense with 304 yards per game. Now to rushing offense, this is the only stat Rutgers has on Indiana. They're averaging 111 yards per game, 113th in the country. Indiana's having 110 rushing yards per game, which is 114th in the country. Now on to the defense. With passing first, Rutgers is allowing 230 passing yards per game on defense, 74 in the country. The only stat they have that is not in the bottom 30. And Indiana has the 35th ranked passing defense in the country, only allowing 194 yards per game. Now, rushing defense, Rutgers ranked 107th in the country, allowing 199 yards per game rushing, and Indiana is 48th, allowing only 130 rushing yards per game. Now, these stats are in a great comparison of how these two teams are, as Rutgers, the only really like bad team they've played really is UMass, and they've played four other Power 5 teams. Indiana has only played two Power 5 teams so far, and their three wins have both been against Ball State, Eastern Illinois, and UConn, who are not exactly great teams. So these stats are a little padded in favor of Indiana, but still Rutgers have been horrible in their last few games. And I just really can't see them do much better in this game. Indiana's defense has looked pretty decent. I mean, they did just allow 40 to Michigan State, though. But their offense looked good, also getting 31 against Michigan State. So Rutgers' defense has been really, really bad, especially the defensive line. That's going to give the Indiana quarterbacks and running backs a lot of time to do stuff, make playmaking plays, and they're just going to be able to go all over Rutgers. And the offense has been doing good to get a new head coach, who's also the offensive coordinator only in his second week. You're missing your top receiver, your second best running back. You're missing your top two quarterbacks. The O-line was not good in the first place. The wide receivers were never really that good. So... I just can't see Rutgers finding a way to even cover the spread, and I think Indiana wins by a score of 41-9. to Now into my two predictions for the game. I think Rutgers has less than 70 passing yards in this game. Indiana's passing events has looked pretty good, only allowing 194, which is 35th in the country. And Rutgers is a next-level bad, and they don't have their top receiver. They have their third-string quarterback, who is like, a runner. He's going to run a lot. He's not going to pass a lot. And that's just going to really not help them at all. And now onto my second one is that Rutgers is going to have over three turnovers in this game. I just can't be positive about Rutgers. I'm really just trying to get myself hyped and hope they do better than my predictions. Like, oh, they did better than expected. They probably won't. Rutgers has never done better than I've expected, really. So, yeah, three plus turnovers. Langan's going to run the ball a lot. And that's a good defense for Indiana. I can see him fumbling a lot. I can see him throwing interceptions. And if we do decide to run the ball out, they're just going to stack the box. And it's going to mean lots of guys hitting our running backs. And it's probably going to mean lots of fumbles. And yeah, I just can't see this game doing anything good for Rutgers. Like I said, my prediction is 41-9. to I don't even see Rutgers getting a touchdown in this game. Just a couple field goals. And here's an extra one also. It's that um, our punter, Adam Korsak, will get another eight punt game and win the Ray Guy Award of the Week again. At least that's one good thing. 
but it's kind of sad, too, because our best player is our punter. So I hope you enjoyed the predictions, and thank you for watching my predictions for the Rutgers Scarlet Knights versus the Indiana Hoosiers. Bye.